Hey, what is going on? <laughs> I didn't, I didn't realize it looked like uh, my time was was up. <laughs> I was, I was upstairs uh, looking for some reference material I wanted to share with you, and I got busy. <laughs> I forgot that the timer was cooking. Let's get started, okay? My name is Kurt. I'm a dad who draws, and this is the Wednesday afternoon. Uh, our live draw on Wednesday afternoon. We get together every Wednesday at two o'clock Eastern time, and on Wednesdays, where you could find us always drawing a uh, a portrait, and uh, that's what we're going to do today. If you're part of our Facebook group, uh, we put I put up a couple different versions, uh, different faces that we can vote on. And then, uh, and then we go ahead and vote on it. And the winning vote is the picture that we draw in the afternoon. So uh, here we are, so welcome. Let me go ahead and uh, bring up my, uh, <clears throat> let me bring up my, uh, let's see here, my uh, sketch, my iPad here so you can see what I'm doing. This always takes a second to, there it is, okay, let's pull that. Okay, excellent. Mm. So, let's see now, before before we get started, what I wanna show you, you know, we're gonna, we're gonna go over um, some, some basics. Hey, Kristen, how are you? Good, I'm glad you're looking forward to this. So, I, you know, with my experience, I wanna share with you quickly how I got to where I am with drawing portraits. And, you know, there are many different ways that you could get to that point where you feel very comfortable drawing portraits. Um, I learned um, uh, I learned how to draw portraits from uh, George Bridgman. I used his methods. I used uh, Bern Hogarth. I used Loomis. Um, and I recently found out that uh, Riley, the, the artist Riley, also has a similar approach. And all of these artists that I've just mentioned have a same way of trying to look at planes of the face and you eventually take those mechanics in and get to the point where you need to be at. So with that being said, I want to share with you this book. And someone in our Facebook group actually got it. I, I think it was Dan. I can't remember. But this book is called Fun with Pencil. It is it is one of, I think it's Andrew Loomis's first book that he ever wrote. But he immediately starts off with, let me just hold it up to the camera so you can see, this very simple cartoon process of how he draws a face. So... If you can, uh, uh, hey Sandy, so if you can um, find a PDF version of this book, Fun with Pencil, you might find it to be um, super, super helpful in your uh, pursuits of learning how to draw the face. Now, like I said, I, uh, I picked up learning how to draw a face from multiple different sources and what uh that was that was a game changer so let's uh you you have that book too sandy says great excellent well let's let's kind of take a look at that book and uh let's kind of approach um andrew loomis's simple way of drawing the face and then we'll get into this okay so let me do this first here i want to uh, duplicate this and we'll kind of use this as a little bit of a reference to warm up and go over Andrew Loomis's process of drawing a face in in the book Fun with Pencil. Fun with a pencil, okay? So first thing I want you to do is is draw three uh, three ovals. These these are really uh, and they could be any. They don't have to be a perfect shape at all, okay? three ovals here and I'm live so if you do have a question by all means throw it out and 
and I would just end it, I would just finalize what I'm saying is this. With all the books in the world, the best thing you could do is the repetitive aspect of just over practicing over and over and over again. And I guarantee it, if you're using one of these books, one of these methods of thinking of planes, thinking of construction, it will come, it will happen. It just takes time. So try not to get frustrated. Turn that frustration into dedication of repetition, of practicing over and over and over again okay all right here we are Loomis so we've got we've got these three ovals here all right let's go ahead and draw a center line over this guy just like that I'm gonna call him a and then B and C okay and then let's let's draw a center line over here like this and then and C, well, we can kind of put it center like that, all right? All right. A, we're going to keep this nice and simple, okay? So there's there's A, and then you know what I'm going to do before we, I'm going to do a little, we'll do a little warm-up of our character here. So start, give me four. We'll do four of them here, all right? And this is going to be D. Okay, so on to A, all right? Let's just go ahead and, and stick just a nose, round ball like that. All right, let's, let's jump over to B and let's put that nose right there. Hello, Lana. How are you doing? Thanks for tuning in. <laughs> All right. Look at, put that nose maybe a little bit higher right up there like that. Now, D, we're going to try and make it look like our, our character here as a quick little warm-up. So just based upon this, I'm going to put my nose somewhere just like this, and I'm going to kind of make it small. Now, to, in uh, coming up here in about an hour, uh, I have a paid class called the Daily Draw, and we're going to talk about using the mask method for the eyes, but we could kind of talk about it slightly here. So I want you to think of these characters as superheroes, and to help you kind of focus where the eyes would go, let's put a mask, let's use like a mask. So we're going to circle around here like this almost like an hourglass okay B all right we're gonna be about there so let's mask there on C Got that. Hello, Christina. <laughs> All right, down over here. All right, now let's look closely at our at our reference. Okay, so this is kind of coming in here. So let's and try and not don't get too crazy about trying to make this perfect. All right, we're just gonna try to relax and have a good time with this one. All right, D. There's the mask for D. <laughs> yes, Donna, I see that. You need all the help, and I do too. So we're all, you're in good company. All right, let's go ahead and kind of put a little mark where we think the mouth is going to go. And then over here, mouth is going to go about there. Put a little mark where the mouth is go, will go here. And of course, where we think the mouth is going to go here. Okay, let's, let's think of the ball of the mouth. The ball of the mouth goes right in here, okay? So we're gonna think of the ball of the mouth. It's gonna come right underneath there, almost 
like a luchadoro. I think a luchadoro. Is that how you say it? The, the Mexican wrestlers. I think they're called the luchadoros. How to draw a face using a, lucha, lu, a luchadoro mask. That sounds like a fun class, if you ask me. Okay. Let's go back to A, and this is where the chin's going to drop, and we're having fun here, okay? Don't, don't stress out about this. We're just trying to envision all the pieces. So I just put... This is about where the chin would go on everyone. Okay, then you're gonna have cheeks and your cheeks are gonna be here. Look at it. cheek over there. B. C. Okay, and if I go too fast, just just give me a shot. Ask me to slow down here. All right, let's let's look at here and let's get the side, the flatness of the head. Okay, so the flatness of the head is going to be about there, and I'm I'm just kind of guesstimating these things here. It's going to be about there. Think of, think of the steps here that we're going through with all of these. And this is the process you want to think about when you're building your face. We're building a face here. Okay, last little bit here. All right, let's get some ears in here. This ear, ears are the lower quadrant always. All right. You can also think of this as like you're just adding bits of clay to this piece. All right, let's. Let's get in our jawline now. From the ear, we drop down a little bit and we circle around like that. You see? Over here, it's going to drop down and then circle right down into this. Going to drop down for the jaw right there and then circle around. Drop down just a bit down drop down and then circle around okay let's get our noses and all I want you to think about is the noses is I just want you to think of like a wedge like that, okay? So we're gonna start right here. There's a wedge. And this is, like I said, this is this shape. Let's 
these are all parallel. Oh, Geraldine, you're just in time. You're doing fine. <laughs> okay. Glad you're here. All right, let's get our eyes here, and we're just going to... And then we're going to just hang, hang the pupils there like that, right? Let's do that on everything here. And that will do it on these guys, I think. We'll just, let's see, let's let's get this far edge here. Come in, we'll get a nice profile here. Like that. Let's jump to the other side. Inside here, it's going to come in, I believe, like this. See, look at this. Isn't this interesting? We've just haven't really worried so much about the the uh, we haven't worried so much about the uh, um, likeness, and we're just looking at the construction here. And this already ha looks like our model here. This is a Hollywood actor. I I can't remember his name, but he's uh, in all has been in all kinds of movies. All right, let's get into it. Last thing I do want to show you is if, if you were to draw a man's lips, uh, I enjoyed reading the Marvel comics, how to draw the Marvel comics way. And sometimes they will say, just draw the shadow of the upper lip. Don't even draw the bottom lip. Just draw the shadow underneath the... Uh, underneath the lower lip there okay all right <laughs> there we go so there are there is a, uh, a an idea of how you might draw uh, the Andrew Loomis method of fun with a pencil check it out if you could find it it's totally worth it I think it's all over it's all over the internet in a PDF format so you should be able to find it okay and this is a rough overview of of Andrew Loomis's method of how to, how to uh, draw the head from his book fun with a pencil okay let's do this that should be a good warm-up here all right let's go ahead and let's I'm gonna show you how I draw Okay, after all of these different methods that I've taken in, I'm going to try and show you the way that I would approach a, approach a portrait, all right? And first thing I always look at with my portraits is I always look to see where there's a straight 
versus a curve. Okay, what do I mean by that? Well, uh, if I was to look at uh, this head, I'm going to see this. Look at that. It's almost like this nice curve here. Hey, John, we're just getting started, so you're you're right on time. And then I would I would look at this kind of straight. You see that? So that would be the first that would be the first mark that I would I would put on my page. I'm gonna add a little color there so I can jump back and forth if I need to. Okay, so let's go ahead and do that. So we're just gonna very lightly, very lightly. There's there is the right side of my face. Now this this is you know it's just the way I do it. <laughs> I haven't taught this because I I want to emphasize the importance of understanding construction. So a lot of times my approach is a mixture of both construction and shape. All right. Okay. So now with this this is where I would come back in and start thinking of okay where is my brow line brow line is the line that goes right through the uh the brow of the head so we're looking we're kind of like looking like this here and then next i'm going to look for the center line center line goes right through the gabella right right in here okay and that's going to have a little bit of a curve. Now it's important to, uh, when you're drawing that, which is going to go right about here. All right, so let me just kind of give you an idea what, what I'm looking at when I'm drawing here. Okay, this is what I'm looking at. Okay, next next I'm going to I'm going to draw this the skull up here just like that, okay? And I'm I'm really looking at kind of this this negative space, okay? All right, I'm going to put a little mark for about where the nose is. Bottom of the nose and the bottom of the chin. Usually those are about the same length. Okay, so let's see. We're going to come down here about the bottom, bottom of the nose. And then I'm going to do another one for the bottom of the chin. And if you wanted to use a third, you could do another one up here. And this usually indicates the hairline. So you're kind of like this. You're one, two, three. Okay, those are three, usually three equal, equal distances there. Okay, at this stage, I want to look for the uh, uh, the oh temples. Where are the temples? It just totally escaped me for a minute. <laughs> the temples. All right, I'm gonna put those in really lightly, and I'm trying to really what I'm trying to do is estimate where is this temple in comparison. To the back of his head and where is it in comparison to the temple on the right okay so i want to be mindful of where those are so if i got one on the right it's going to be right about here and then this one is going to be way way over here 
and then the back of the head is going to be over here you see this this one may have to move over just a slight just a little bit there Oh, look at that. We are got carried away here. Okay, next. All right. So from the temple then, now, now I can kind of like get an idea of the side of the head. Do you see that? You know, while we're doing it, I'll just will also mention that we do have some paid classes available, and it's one of them is called the uh, uh, the dedicated student. Uh, we get together every day for about a half an hour, and we hit up uh, on Mondays. We hit up um, something natural. Tuesdays we do man made. Wednesdays we look at a close detail about portrait. Thursdays character design, and Friday is animals. And if you're interested in that, I will put a link in the description that you could check that out and join. It's only 10 bucks a month. You can't beat it. For the amount of drawing that we do live, you almost get 30 days of live drawing. And that's called the Dedicated Student. All right. Oh, you do. OK, I will. Uh, uh, um, Sandy, I will put a link in the description here as soon as we're done. All right. OK, here we go. Let's keep going here. That was my own little advertisement. <laughs> okay, all right, here we go. So down here, down here in the in the corner here, you're gonna you're gonna drop this down a little bit, and then we're gonna come around like this. Okay, so let's let's do that. All right, so we're gonna come over here, and you're gonna drop down just a bit, and then we're gonna just curve that around. Look at that, just like that. And our ear is going to go toward the back there. Okay, I'm going to erase. I'm going to erase these guides here, and then uh, then we'll get in a little bit more detail. Okay, so I'm going to erase these. That gives you a pretty good idea of where we're at. Okay, let's go ahead and, and start to add some features because we kind of have a basis of our head li laid out here. So, all right. So this is the brow line. This is the brow line right here. Let's start with the nose. So our nose is going to, let's get the shape of it first. So we're gonna, along the bridge, we're gonna come out like this, right? Here's the here's the tip of his nose. Now, now look at this. Now it the underside is almost like a is almost like a straight line, but then it it goes long over here. You see, and then we can drop that in just like that. Okay, then we can also put in our brow line. Look at, I mean, our, our eye line. Our eye, eye line is going to come right in here. Let's go ahead and put in the visor. The visor, the where the uh, visor is on the side. It's this is where. Our face mask, if you remember, that we just kind of did, and you could kind of see that it's there. It's going to be about there. And then this is going to be the cheekbone, just 
like that. Same thing on the other side. Just like that. Very lightly, let's let's put in the barrel of the mouth here. All these all these things that I'm going over right now, this is all part of the construction of a face. That's going to be about the barrel of the mouth. There's the square of the chin. Now the barrel of the mouth is going to have it's going to be round like this. That's the surface of it. And this 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 is the new center line because it's following the surface of everything. So this is going to come right up right up the underside of the nose. It's going to come right across the top of the the nose up the gabella and then right into the uh right into the uh, forehead there. All right, let's start to get this nose in place here. Okay, so we have this, this is like the tip of the nose, it, it goes it goes right under there at that point, right? So let's, this is the part that's in between the, the nostrils here, okay? So we're gonna have one, no, now this is the tip. Now this is in front of this nostril over here. So this is gonna come around like this. And then this, this nose over here, it's going to come up. There's the nostril right there. is where the the plane of the nose comes in contact with the face all right let's continue down down here around the barrel of the mouth and let's get the mouth in here okay so on either side of of the nose here you get this we get this indentation right here you see that let's put a little v here this v rep represents the v in the top of the lip right there corner of the mouth all right and then this corner is a little bit closer because it's a three-quarter view let's connect those up there darker in the corners okay the the center part of the lip this little part right here this little uh, uh <laughs> it's like we're all we're at the dentist <laughs> all right but this is far more pleasurable than the dentist right all right we come right in here like this And then a straight line, a straight line on either side of that. All right, 
and this is about where the bottom of the lips are going. Now his, he doesn't have a lot of shadow underneath the bottom of his lip. And I can already see I've done a, let's see now. Uh, I think I've made mine possibly too long down here at the bottom, which is fine. This is why we, we make adjustments as we go along. So I'm going to, I'm going to cut mine. I'm going to cut part of it off down here. All right, that's going to be the the core, the uh, box, the box of the uh, of the lips there, box of the mouth. Okay, let's get these eyes in now. Let's keep moving along. All right, I'm going to change my angle ever so slightly. All right, sometimes I've talked about using uh, vertical lines for alignment. So here's the corner of an eye. And if I use a vertical line, where does that, look at that, that how does that line up? All right, just, just on the inside of that nostril there. So corner of that eye is going to be right about there. Where is the where is the outside corner, All right? So this this outside corner Okay, just outside the corner of the mouth. You see that? That's going to line up just on the outside here. Maybe about there. And then the other eye is going to start just just inside the nose end right out there now when you draw his eyes don't don't draw like a perfect on don't draw an almond shape okay what I want you to do is I want you to think of one two three three for the top and then an S curve for the bottom of the eye. All right, that's the way I want you to think of this. So let's do that. Let's go one, two, three. All right, then a slight S curve. Let's do that the same way over here. One, two, three. Slight S curve. All right, let's get this pupil in now. Okay, eyebrows here are coming in like this, right? Now let's let's walk, let's draw a containment line. When I say a containment line, I want you to think of like if you're gonna put up fencing to keep cattle in or fencing to keep animals in. Let's let's put a fence around where we think this shadow is gonna go. So we're just gonna very lightly walk this around all the way all right and let's go ahead and then and drop in a very light tone in this whole area here and then you could do the same for this other side
light. I'm going to squint my eyes just a little bit more by just darkening the the upper eyelid. Same same thing on both sides here. And then I'm going to come in and get this shadow a little bit more of the bags underneath his eyes. Let's get those eyebrows in here. Now, look at this. Oh, I just noticed this. This is exciting. <laughs> this is exciting. I'm going to zoom in here just to show it to you because this is really important. All right, we're going. Ooh, look into my eye. All right, here we go. <laughs> look, look, look how. Ooh, let me make this smaller here. Look how light it is right along there, and then it gets dark right above it. All right, so I'm going to remove that. See that? See the ref This is important here. See the reflective light right here, and then it gets a little bit darker up there. All right, we want to uh, we want to capture that idea. You see, it's it's slight, but it will make a big difference. It's light here, it's darker, and it's darker up there. All right. All right, let's let's look at that. Let's do that. So it's going to be a little bit light there, right? So we're gonna we're gonna take this down here. We're going to get really dark in here. All right, same thing on this side. Let's get this and get a little shadow on your uh, on the whites of the eyes there. Okay, let's let's drop a little shadow in on our nose. Get the underside area of that nose. And you can even drop a slight tone on this upper lip. Okay. All right, let's let's work on this ear now. All right, so top of ear, bottom of ear. Here's a let's use a horizontal line. Okay, we get an idea where the bottom of the ear is lining up. Okay, we're getting an idea where the top of the ear is lining up. So let's see here. Bottom of the ear, okay, not too bad there. And the top of the ear, great. So we're coming here with a slight angle. Looks like he has a, I think they call it like a boxer's ear where it's, he may have gotten in some boxing fights when he was younger. There's the, there's the Y of the ear that I just put in. Okay, I'm going to redraw my jaw here because I've I've changed it. So I'm going to 
drop down here and then bring that in there bring that around okay let's draw this hair this hairline's coming in here and I'm I'm gonna think of this as like this mass that this is going to come up like that ooh look at that i have <clears throat> i've totally look at that see we make mistakes all the time i've totally made probably this portrait way too wide you see that? Yes, I have. So we fix it and it's okay. We fix it. All right, side of the hair here on this side here, you get this little bit coming around the back side. There's my neck on the back side there. Where's the neck coming in on this side? Okay, it's coming right right underneath his chin there and then it's going to go now look look where this is this is a nice little little point there if i go straight up it's going to line up with his pupil it's a good so it's right about there It's going to come around the back side here like this. Okay, so I've got all the pieces in place. It's not too bad. I'm, it's not too bad. Uh, let's go ahead and add some tone to it now. And what I want you to do is I want you to squint your eyes. I want you to squint your eyes and ask yourself, what is dark and what is light? Okay, that's what I want you to think of. I want you to ask yourself, what is dark and what is light? And then go in here and start to add just those two answer that question and then add some tone what is dark and what is light Oop. Now let's ask the question, what is medium value? So, okay. So I'm going to say the whole rest of his face up here is going to be a medium value. So I'm just going to come straight through here and add a tone.
right? So now we kind of have separated this whole head down into three, basically three simple areas of value. We've looked what is dark, what is light, and what is medium. Now we can come back in a second time and start to develop those areas a little bit more. So if I just look at my darkest darks, and I'll say, okay, where is, what's happening to my darkest darks? Well, this this looks like this has a little bit more darker value here, and then we, we have some over here, right? Definitely have some coming up here. This uh, underside is, is much darker than the uh, shirt there, right? And now I could go back into, uh, into the medium value and like, okay, what's going on here now? All right, so we, I'm definitely this side over here was nose. And this, this side of his face seems to be a darker value than the left side of his face. Let's get these, these shadows here a little bit darker. And then I can come in here and start to detail some of his hair out. Now, now only after I've got these values in place, now I'm ready to start like adding some detail to where I think his hair should be going. Now I kind of start getting in here and start getting a little bit more value, a little bit more, start to add extra little details that I see. And I think that's going to do it for today. Look at this ear is going to go much darker. Oh, I don't want to quit now. I'm like into it, right? This is what happens. Let's end it with just with this little highlight, huh? Like we got a little highlight over there. Okay, there we go. I think we're done. <laughs> hey, my name is Kurt. I'm a daddy draws. This has been the Wednesday edition of the Daily Draw. Thanks for watching, everyone. I will, uh, if you're interested in taking the, uh, the dedicated student membership class, I'll put a link down in the uh, description here in just a second. But uh, thanks for watching, everyone. Go out there. Make your day great. We'll see you later, okay? All right. Bye-bye.